Uh, hi everyone, my name is Dr. Filio Tandisuzo Choba. I'm from South Africa uh, in the province of Kiri I'm working in Matsiganega Zulu Hospital as a clinical manager that side. So basically one is here in, uh, in Kenya uh, in a program that is called Medical Officer Oncology Program that is facilitated by the, the International Cancer Institute. So we are here to, to learn and to get more training in terms of oncology ailments and how to manage them. Um, the advantage that we do have um, uh, by leading this program is because uh, we are coming from the setting that the oncology is a specialized um, um, uh, wing, so we are unable to actually see these patients on time and manage them in our district hospitals. So the program is actually capacitating the medical officers to be able to pick up these cases, to screen them and how to manage them. And the exposure as well to uh, chemotherapy and how to give the chemotherapy to these patients. And this is advantageous because some of the patients that we do refer to our um, referral settings, they get delayed throughout. Some, they would have to wait for a year to be seen to be diagnosed and to be managed. So by this program, we're picking up these cases from the district level and the PHC and we manage them. So this program is gonna be a program that is gonna assist us, even the communities where we're coming from, especially the underserved communities. Thank you very much. Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Alex Momani. I'm a part one resident in orthopedics, actually here in MTRH. Um, we are the second cohort for the uh, Oncology for General Practitioners course and it has been a very well thought out program for us. We've had interactions from individuals from South Africa, lecturers and consultants and special, uh, specialized individuals and, 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 and people who are well versed in this field to provide us with information that will help us, especially in the management of patients, considering that in our setup, current setup, we don't have very many individuals who have adequate knowledge on the management of, of, of oncology on its own. Because most patients end up being uh, mismanaged or ignored in the peripheral facilities and most of them are sent out to tertiary facilities or uh, higher tier facilities for management of oncology. This is a well thought out program, especially uh, in, in, in educating medical officers and clinicians uh, in the management, initializing treatment, care and follow-up of individuals, especially in the peripheral facilities and their subsequent follow-up in our facilities, in higher tier facilities, and it has bridged a big gap in the management of patients. I'd say it's, 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 it's well encompassing because we have individuals from South Africa, we have individuals from India, we have um, a well vast team and the setup here is very uh, it's, it's, it's well endowed with individuals who can give you information that is, uh, will help us in the management of these patients. Um, there are two weeks of on-site training and one week of on-site training and most of the course is actually well thought out and it provides us with adequate knowledge to help us manage these patients, especially in our setup. Uh, thank you.